Uh, oh, fuck you. Alrighty, hello everyone and welcome to the Late Night Game Chats podcast with Vaza and of course his sex slave Striker. How are you, Striker? I'm doing fucking terribly. Nah, that would as always. <laughs> yeah, that that kind of happens. <laughs> that kind of happens. Yeah, just, you know, it's life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I get that. I get that a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so ter- uh, what should we talk about first? This is kind of our first episode, kind of thing. So we don't really know. Yeah, what we're, we're doing. Getting into the just. Of- yeah, his mic cut out. Um, so Mike's gonna cut out this recording a lot, probably. So it's gonna sound like shit. Fun. Let's go. All right. How about we talk about like uh, politics? I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. Politics? Of course not. I bet. <laughs> I bet. Fuck no. Trump. Fuck Biden. <laughs> fuck everyone that isn't Bernie. There we go. Political opinions done. All right. Next topic. Like, I'm a god. Literally. Fuck everybody. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, um. What you do for Thanksgiving? What did I do for Thanksgiving? Yeah, because Thanksgiving was literally. When was Thanksgiving? That was like today's Sunday. So it's Saturday. Like four days ago. Ah. Wait, four days? Oh, okay. So. Well, what day is Thanksgiving? Isn't that? Oh, Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, because it's always on a third. Huh. Yeah. Can you tell I'm mentally, di- I'm mentally handicapped? Yes. Can you tell this by now? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, what'd you do for Thanksgiving? I think I think we already talked about this um, beforehand, or like I kind of like Friday you know, or something like that. Eight. But, ah, <laughs> very very and, pog. If I don't say so yeah. myself, very pog. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. I don't. My Thanksgiving, I feel like I kind of pissed off my family a lot, uh, like legitimately, because how's that? Because <clears throat> you know me, right? I'm a pretty I'm a pretty sociable person. If I can go out and I can just talk, kind of thing. I mean, you see yeah. me. I mean, at school, I shit like that. When it's when it's around people, like I can usually turn on my persona. I can turn on. I like to distinguish it kind of from because I'm because there's me. You know, there's me. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna say yeah. a real name because, like I said, I don't really want that Vaza. public. Oh yeah, it's you and then there's me, and then there's Vaza, right? Vaza is the mm-hmm. confident one. Vaza is the the character. He's uh he's me dialed up to an eleven. He's me unfiltered thoughts. He's me kind of going at it in the world type of thing. Mm-hmm. And so whenever around people, I flip on the persona. You know, I I kind of do dial Vaz. I do dial Vaza down, kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But I still put him on a little bit, kind of thing to because that's likable. Yeah. You know. I mean, I'm not yeah. kind of a likable person. I mean, I've kind of, <laughs> of course, you're not like saying the n word out of there. Yeah, like, I'm not. I'm not the you know, I'm not saying the n word. Like I said, I dial Vaza down. In recordings with editing, mm-hmm. I can do, I can do whatever the fuck I want. I'll like tell whatever the fuck I want because that's true for entertainment purposes. But like yeah. when I'm in public, I'm doing shit like that. I turn on Vaza a little bit. I dial. I just dial it down a lot. So because mm-hmm. that, like I said, that's that's just who people like. They don't really, they don't really like me. They like Vaza, because I mean, because there's, like I said, two distinguished characters. I mean, me, like real life me, I'm pretty quiet. I, I am. Yeah. I'm a pretty quiet person. Like I kind of just chill out. I mean, for most of high, for not not most of high school, what the fuck am I saying? For <laughs> most of like the previous year, I was just being myself, kind of thing. Yeah. You know, people always tell me, "Oh, you got to be yourself." You gotta do this mm-hmm. shit, cause I've always been the persona mm-hmm. before that, in like middle school and all that kind of stuff, and I was hated in middle school because I never turned off the persona. Now, now I'm like a healthy mix, though. Now I can kind of like go between the yeah. two, kind of thing. But like, so like for most of this year, like the entire years we've been in high school so far, I've just been me, and you don't want to know how many times I've been told by people. When are you shooting up to school? <laughs> or hey, you said you're a school shooter. Because <laughs> I, I, I never realize this, but apparently 
I look very calculated and like just there when I'm just being myself and just uh, not doing anything. Cause like, cause I usually have a, cause, okay. I always wear a hoodie. I always mm-hmm. wear sweatpants or just random jeans. And like, usually most, and most of my shit's black too. Cause mm-hmm. I'm fat. So I have to wear black. I can't wear colors. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm usually just kind of chilling there. And I'm just staring at random locations, just kind of in my own head, making casual conversations. And I guess when I'm just kind of staring at my, in my directions and like not talking to people, apparently I look very calculating and very, and very suspicious. Uh, yeah. And I didn't realize uh, yeah. that. Yeah. If I take pie and I put it inside of this triangle, uh, <laughs> everyone fucking dies. <laughs> hmm. If I fuck three alien bitches and one of them pops out a newborn, would they be considered? Hmm. Would they be considered multi-race? Hmm. Or to be multi-species? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. These are the real questions here. Hmm. Rosa Parks could. Could have seen the first two Shrek movies since she died in 2005. Both Shrek movies came out. Bef- the two first Shrek movies came out before that, 2001 and 2004. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of right, like. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah, it's it's kind of like that type of thing. So, and when I started like kind of putting up the character a little bit and getting more comfortable, of course, in school type of thing. I mean, that plays a factor in it with me playing my character. Yeah. I it feels weird because like I'm at like a midpoint now where I'm I'm kind of a mix of both so it's like a, it's like a healthy medium where I'm confident I'm like doing I'm the confident outgoing person yeah and like I can say the dumb shit I can say all that shit now I can yeah. like I can say the dumb jokes I can make people laugh I can entertain people but I can also be like I can also turn it off when I need to I mean mm-hmm. I mean I've been around people where I kind of have to turn it off so yeah yeah yeah. You know, yeah. Because speaking of like, yeah, go on. Uh, speaking of the whole personas thing, I, I, you know, I, I see where you're coming from with like, you know, having like a pretty, a, like a, a pretty vast difference, yet having very similar like threads intertwining both personalities. Yeah. Whereas, yeah. whereas, like, I'm more of like Just it's yourself. It's, it's like. It's me, but my my uh, recording personality is more confident and a hell of a lot more gay. True, <laughs> true, true. Yeah. I always, yeah. I, I don't know, because the whole reason I developed the persona thing is because when I first started YouTube, like, cause I, I've done mm-hmm. you and me have done YouTube for a long time, like surprisingly oh, long yeah. fucking time. Like I'm like when I, when I tell people my I've done YouTube for like I've been on YouTube since 2013. Right. Same. So whenever I tell people I've been doing YouTube this long, they're always like, how are you not famous yet? How are you not this shit? It's like, man, because I don't want to be famous. Hmm. I, I just don't. I, I, know it's, I know it's like, oh, pretentious and shit like that. I don't want, I don't want an audience, man. I don't, I just don't. Yeah. Seriously. Like, like a huge, a huge I, audience would be so overwhelming. Yeah. No, I, the most I can handle is like a thousand. And even then I would still be like, anxious as shit because of that like that's a shit ton i can think of that's a thousand individual people that's a lot dude, if, if we ever got to a thousand subscribers i'd fucking cry dude i'd oh, yeah, be no, like holy too. shit this many people care about us i'd, yeah, I'd be I'd, I'd be anxious as shit i'd be like i don't know I, well, even with a hunt dude if we had a hundred oh my cat's on my, my oh my god my cat's on my ottoman <laughs> cat down hey fiona down yeah Sorry, sorry, about that. <laughs> sorry. I should probably yeah. should have had the cats in my room while recording this. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, yeah. So I've just kind of like even a hundred, dude. If we got a hundred subscribers, I'd still be like, I'd turn everything to shit. I'd be like, all right, every video has to be perfect, has to be this shit. <laughs> like, and I mean, genuinely, I think we've only put out like five perfect videos. Not even five. I think three perfect videos, in my opinion. Yeah. I, I genuinely think, and I think one of them is the the Danny DeVito video where I spread around mm-hmm. Danny DeVito pictures around my school, but that video was made like before the One Inch Wonders type of thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah, those pre-channel videos. Yeah, because like uh, we had, we had a few like, pre-channel. Like okay. the, fir- the first like five videos, no, there's like, like stuff that was taken ten. 
Yeah, about like from the first, mostly yeah. mostly vases, but a couple of them were taken from mine. You, yeah, yeah. Uh, most of the ones taken from mine are now privated because they're cringe as fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because uh, we, yeah, yeah, first like ten or so videos were pre because I was stocking up on videos because I wanted to wait till summer and just upload them all weekly and be like, I can enjoy my summer. I can also make videos in my summer. I can make mm -hmm. them since I have more time. I can put more effort into them. And so then, so I can release them since I won't be boggled down by releasing them at that time. I can then release them during um, school too, since I have all summer to work on videos. And then it was during school, and I don't have to worry about making videos during school. I don't have to worry about that type of stuff. Yeah, you know, so I was stocking up. And then when we said, <clears throat> then when we said, oh, let's make a channel together, let's make the Bigot Boys. We and we started this. We yeah. should probably address that actually. Uh, we oh, had yeah. changed our our mm -hmm. YouTube channel name from the Big of Boys to the One Wonders type of thing, and I don't think we've ever kind of addressed that. Yeah, we kind of just did it, and the, and then you know, just didn't yeah. address it whatsoever. Yeah, the th reason we changed it is one because we had been shadow banned beforehand. We also haven't talked about that that much. And yeah. my twi the only time we I'm ever pretty sure we that. have deleted videos. Of yeah, of us that. talking about that. Yeah, yeah, because. We were shadow banned before, and I had tweeted about it, got YouTube's attention, and they unshadow banned us. But it took like a week or so, so that kind of mm -hmm. sucked. That was like two weeks, yeah. something like that. It was like two weeks. <clears throat> that sucked. That was during the whole BLM stuff, like when it was like when they were when the whole riots and shit were happening. I don't want to yeah. say riots. The the protests. protests there were some, yeah. there were some riots in there, there but there was mainly it was mainly protests. Pro protest. protest. It was mainly protests, but there was like like a group yeah. of like. A few people had rioted and they were yeah. like destroying shit. So like, and and then everyone just laser focuses on that one yeah, singular yeah, so group, which is bullshit. Was, yeah, it, it is bullshit. They shouldn't focus on one part of a movement and say the whole movement's bad. Yeah, kind of thing. It'd be different if the whole movement was fucked, type of thing. Then, but, I mean, that's yeah, what I mean. Here's the thing: I don't call myself a feminist, but yeah, I also either. I also don't exactly disrespect the feminist movement yeah i get what it's trying to do i get what it stands yeah. for it's just this like this i don't know if it's a vocal minority i don't know just it's this probably vocal, the vocal minority yeah, that pushed me away yeah the vocal minority had pushed me away from it that's been like oh man i can't i can't yeah. exactly look at this normally now and i can't oh, I've, God. I've lost it oh, God, <laughs> this should... how fucking stupid we were in eighth grade oh my god eighth grade okay so so, we, okay. so in eighth grade, we were we were like the edgiest motherfuckers in the oh, universe. Oh god, don't right? even talk about that shit, man. That's and uh, and we we would watch these like these like videos of like you know some like outbursts or something by like a my by a, by a minority of the movement and just call the entire movement that. That's just ignorant. We were ignorant yeah, back it, then. We were so I ignorant. Mean, I, mean, I mean, back then, I like okay. So even back then. I still had the. I would get so mad when someone would be like, "I'm not a man or a female, or I'm not a man or a woman," kind of thing, and I'd be like, "There are only two genders. Pick one." Kind of a thing. I'd get so mad about that, and I was like, "That's." I look back. I want to beat the shit out of me in middle school. I genuinely yeah, do. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah, between fifth grade to eighth grade, I want to genuinely go back to every one of those years and just lay into my younger self, man. <laughs> no holds yeah. backs. I want to smash his fucking nose against the table. I want to fucking shove my hands so far up his ass I can feel his fucking organs. <laughs> Shit like <laughs> Yeah, man. Because I was just... Dude, I would get so, so mad about the whole transgender crazy. shit back then. I don't know why. I'd be like, oh, oh transgender shit. He's like, transgender is so dumb. There's only two genders. It's not. I couldn't grasp the concept in middle school that gender and sex are two different things. Yeah. Kind of. That like one of them is how you feel and the other one is how you biologically are mm -hmm. kind of thing i couldn't grasp that concept to of me so and i was just super oh dude we were so ignorant back then i don't even want to talk about yeah, that shit. Jesus. i feel like, I feel like oh. the more we talk about that the more we're going to be we're more going to be hated by people <laughs> no no we're talking we're, we're, we're putting we're putting ourselves down for that i, I don't think it unless it's like taken way out of uh, way out of context there's yeah, no way. out of context like i see that but yeah yeah. Well, like if people bothered to watch the context, they'd understand. We fucking hate our younger selves. Oh yeah, I don't <laughs> hate them. I hate them myself. Oh yeah, back to the name change things that's what we were talking about. Oh yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, so we had changed it because we had been shadow banned kind of thing beforehand, and that was kind of like that wasn't exactly the final nail in the coffin, but it was like majority of the nail. Yeah. Kind of thing. Where uh we had saw that and we realized why. Because this was the reason why we were shadow banned. This is well the, probably not the reason, but uh, it's like ninety ninety percent yeah. of the reason. This this is like it's not ninety percent of the reason. It may not be the reason at all. This is just what I think. And I think I'm right, and you think the same way. Everyone I've told this to, they all think they're like, yeah, that makes 100% sense, was that since this was in the height of the BLM protests, after George Floyd's death, RIP George Floyd, kind of thing, Mm -hmm. after all that shit was going down, since our name had been Bigot Boys, and the word bigot had been branded on every news channel, been branded everywhere, Bigot police, bigot this, bigot, yeah, bigot, yeah. bigot, bigot people shoot at fucking protesters, shit like that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. They probably saw our channel and looked at us as like the villains. They saw, they probably saw us. That, that's the wrong choice of words, but I don't know how to <laughs> yeah. properly explain it. Yeah, but yeah, they looked at yeah. it and thought we were yeah. probably making fun of our channel was in disrespect of the BLM. And I get why. I get why at the time. Yeah. It makes sense. So like, we were shadow banned, and you couldn't you couldn't search us up anywhere. You couldn't if you looked up our channel, it had you 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 could only find like two videos. Yeah. So that was just and a yeah, thing, and we had been shadow banned for the long, longest time. Not the longest time. We were shadow banned for like two or three weeks. Somewhere just it was yeah. a short. Pre- it was like it was less than a month, but it it ended. But yeah. even then, it was like it made me so massively depressed to think that. We're shadow. We're not shadow banned for the content. We're not shadow banned for like our our message, which we don't even have. If we had a message, yeah. kind of thing. But we were <laughs> shadow banned for. <laughs> we were shadow banned for our fucking name, and that was just made me mass depressed. And I had massively depressed, and I have been like, and I was just like wondering pretty much all the way up till we finally changed the name, like if we should change it. I was constantly debating it in my head. I was like, oh, yeah. it's going to be a whole pain in the ass because, mm-hmm. I mean, in older videos, you can see, yeah. uh, you can see how so our logo has watermarks. Oh, yeah, no, we had watermark. <laughs> we had, like, in our older video, like, watermark shit that has said Bigot Boys on it, mm-hmm. that kind of thing. So it was, like, one of those things where it's, like, I don't know. It's going to be kind of a pain. Oh, my phone's wrong. I need to get my phone. Sorry. Yeah. Where it's kind of <laughs> one of those things where it's, like, even if, like, we changed it, it would still... I don't know. It still discouraged me because I was like, yeah. I don't know. Just, I mean, if you still if you look up our channel, big if you look up Bigger Boys, our channel still still shows up. I, mean, I just I just checked, so yeah, it still shows up. So, but it's like still, I I just I was I like, there's so many the hoops. tags in our old videos. Yeah, I'm like, there's so many hoops. There's so many shit like that in my mind. Really, I mean, in the video form, I think no one would ever fucking question it because no one watched our channel, kind of thing. They'd probably just be like, oh, they changed the name, so what? But, like, for me, it was, like, mental gymnastics. Oh, fuck, I can't speak English. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that that was pretty much it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Dude, that, um, I can't pull dude. Uh, what else should we talk about now? We're even 18 minutes in, so... <laughs> Only 18 minutes. It feels like it's been here for like um, 30 kinda, so far. I, I kind of want to go back to the topic of like, of, you know, channel and stuff. And, you know, I, I've been looking at YouTube statistics recently because they've kind of interested me and I was kind of shocked to see how many people, A, like even like saw us to exist, who even got a glimpse of us and the that people that do about. watch us. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I mean, want to thank all of you. I think last time I'll, it was like... <laughs> <laughs> all four of you but like that like the i mean when i saw my checked was like 170 unique viewers and i was like that's a shit done holy fuck last time <sighs> i checked was, two, was like 208 it went oh, up yeah. I, i'm yeah. fine i'm just that my, scares my me. mind is blown yeah that scares me <laughs> i don't know i've said like i said before i, I don't want a big audience i don't want i don't know yeah. I'm, we make these videos because we find them funny so yeah. I don't I mean, know, the, only find, the only reason I we're find, doing this this whole podcast thing was just because we're like, oh, none yeah. of our, we never really get to talk in any of our videos and like yeah, show who we truly are because we're always like playing. Yeah, we're always putting up a like, personality. 
So it's and like it's it'd nice be nice to finally like, like just kind of talk for once, you know, get our talk about yeah. shit, and not have to worry about making it look all fancy and nice and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we have we we have been kind of experimenting lately with doing less perfection, less final yeah. products. You know, like less editing and such. Yeah, like the the small pee pee boys fight about penis yeah. in my, fight about the penis beginning in Minecraft. Of Minecraft series. Yeah, like we're oh, like it's a series gaming. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a series kind of thing yeah. i'm not going to spoil the ending yeah. but we do have an ending in mind that we want to do yeah so but it's <laughs> like it's just like we want to get less netting because i mean in these past few months i've been uh, in striker too we've been so devoured by the thought of perfection and it has to be good enough we'd be proud of it yeah. i mean he spent a whole month on what was the video again the fucking uh, rainbow one yeah where he no csgo one no, where yeah, you, the, the JoJo CS:GO one, but I've all, I, I you, almost got a reanimated one as well. Yeah, where you reanimated the JoJo uh, intro, CSGO, the, yeah. yeah, with CS:GO the characters and CS:GO sounds. And you said you were making a second one, but you've been passively working on that for the past I've, like a few months. Pretty much, I've. I don't want to say it's dead because it could very well come back. I just have no plans at the moment to work on it. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can see that. I can see that. It's not dead though, so it has a yeah, possibility. You spent, you spent a whole ass month. I, I genuinely do video. find it, you know, I I love animating in Source Filmmaker. It's it's kind of fun. I'm yeah, not gonna yeah. lie. Yeah. Instead instead of uh, making the fucking okay, so here's here's how tedious and shitty way that I did. Um, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This right, is the only so, reason it took you so sure. fucking long. Oh, okay, my God. yeah, yeah. yeah. I I uh I took for every frame I made I uh, <laughs> an individual fucking an, picture an individual and then poster. put it into Photoshop and yes take out the background out. and then put it into Vegas. It, dude, you spent more than I, probably yeah. so you spent every morning working on that fucking video. Like yeah, dude, I spent I spent like every hour of every day on in that month working yeah. on that video. Pretty and much, yeah. Damn, the only time, the only yeah, it was not worth it. So I'm kids, you right kids, now, if you want to do something, it. learn the sure fucking good. software with fullest potential. Like, yeah. like there's an animation software. With the second one, I'm animating it, like yeah. a like a normal human being, like you know, like you should. <laughs> but the the pain in the ass of the second one is After Effects. So whenever I get to the After yeah. Effects portions, it really kills me. Yeah, yeah. Though I really do want to see it get done, because yeah. I, I genuinely, I don't know. I I, I like it. I like yeah, I like the I don't know. I I feel like they're it gives fun. you. It's a lot. It's a it's a cathart. I can't say that fucking word. Catharsis feeling, like yeah. working yeah, on a, pro, a video or a project for so long and then finally and finishing, then finishing it. it and it's like proud of it. Yeah, and you look yeah. at it and you're like, damn, that's good. I'm proud of this shit. But the, the first one didn't give me that feeling because after yeah. two days, I realized how fucking shitty it looked. Yeah. I <laughs> I mean, I wasn't... I mean, I called it good at the time, but I wasn't calling it good because of the video quality. I was calling it good because of the effort you put into it. I was like, you put so much effort into this. Yeah. Like, like I'm, pr- like I'm proud of it for you because you put this much effort into it. It's yeah. like... I'm like that's a, that's a good feeling that you put that I know like you could put this much effort into something and still still even when even if you think it looks bad you still pull through and make it I'm like that's that's a good yeah. that's a good instinct to have so I was like uh, that's good yeah and you know recently I've been feeling you know a lot better especially when we think more uh, relaxed editing style yeah yeah because uh, I mean, now I'm I'm, I mean, I'm getting videos out like you know I'm I'm yeah, starting yeah. to get into a flow. You know, I mean, if I'm being 100 percent honest, with less and edi- with less editing and less precision and less time put into them, I feel like the videos aren't as entertaining. But I feel like they're better for the fact that it's like we can make them more. We can make more of them. We can, you know, yeah. we can have more. We can have more fun with videos again. Yeah. Because yeah. this this whole channel was started about like oh just us two making because yeah. we always made videos together. Yeah. So it was like. Yeah, but we'd make separate videos out of them. I was someone we we, had, oh we made videos together. God, holy shit! It's been so it's like so long, but so, it's not really been that long. Yeah, so it's like we made this to be so like 
we can just record together we can have fun we can hang out yeah. make videos and just post them kind of thing like how we were doing before mm-hmm. but then at some point i don't know when we got so hung up on making perfect videos and i i can't yeah. tell you when i I'm looking through our channel right now. I cannot tell you what video caused this. And like, I think it was a gradual progression. It was, it was definitely a gradual. I say because a good stepping stone was probably when we created the group channel. But then again, yeah. I can't really bash that too hard because it forced that. It forced us to get out of our, our, video our comfort zone. Like, it, yeah, it forced us zone. to move and evolve yeah. as creators and like create imaginative ideas for different aspects of videos. And it, I mean, honestly, it made us a lot better at video editing. I think, I think the tipping point general. for me was, I think, I think it started actually with our first video, the changes Minecraft parody, hmm. because we sat there for it. I mean, it was a fun video to make. I'm not going to bash yeah. it. I think it's genuinely one of her best videos just because of the memory of it. Yeah, I mean, for like the average viewer, still, they'll probably think it's awkward. average. Yeah, they'll probably think it's average. They probably won't find it as funny as we did, where we just erased the Minecraft parody and mm-hmm. made a full blown mu- cinematic music video to it that wasn't that well. But it's like the memory of it. It's like that was our first video for this channel, exactly. Genuinely. And we sat there and we we went. Up, Shiker went used his free thirty day realm to yep. <laughs> for uh, minecraft so we could go in and create a mode and film a fucking minecraft parody music video yeah for us and we just sat there and just had fun for the fucking time for like just a f- just for a full ass day even editing it wasn't wasn't exactly a grueling experience because i was looking at it and i was like damn that's good kind of thing. it just <laughs> it just worked the video yeah. worked everything everything kind of fell into place perfectly and then you yeah. know and then when i go i'm going channel then you have quarantine csgo which was our first time really experimenting with like video game funny moments. Gaming. Yeah. Yeah. And like, it's a good stepping, stepping stone. Cause we already had the gra- the basics of editing. We already had the basics of what a good video could look like. I mean, it's not good <laughs> at all. Really? Yeah. It, some of the jokes are just kind of, uh, I, I still, I still don't land feel well. like even though it's, even though it's pretty dated, I yeah, would it's still dated. say it's a solid video. It's I, solid I still, it's just, I still laughed at some just, of the jokes. Yeah. I watched it. I rewatched it today, and I was like, eh, "You know what? This still works." Yeah. So it's just kind of one of that. So and then we kind of we were proud of that, and then there, you know, there's just we had an we made an EP, Danny's Cum Sluts, mm-hmm. where we never released it on Spotify or anything like that because <laughs> we fucking couldn't. Yeah. We could only realistically release two songs on the EP. Because the other two was a parody of the Adventure Time theme song, and then the Changes Minecraft parody. So yeah, I mean, you boy only released "Feel" by Yoda, and "When the Homies Don't Kiss You Goodnight." Really? Yeah. Then, then there's the the oh. "Send This to Your Crush Out of Context" video by me, where it got all sad and shit. Which, okay, I know you don't like the sad videos that much. I know because, no, but I. I I'm, 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 I, uh, when I, when I shit on you, I'm joking. I'm no. not, I'm not very, yeah, I'm not very serious no. about that. Yeah. No. I was like, I liked making them because I felt like I was, you know, kind of being real while also kind of mm-hmm. grasping a, a little bit of a story with the channel mm-hmm. kind of thing. Yeah. Where it was like, cause the first one was about, um, whatchamacallit, what was the first one about? The first one was like him realizing he was depressed, kind of not realizing him having a kind of like the starting point of Vaza's depression, mm-hmm. and then there was sinister love your life out of context, which was the um when he finally admits it. Well, not no, he doesn't really admit it, but he kind of because in the first, uh, the first one he admits it, but he's still kind of iffy about it. Then sinister love your life was he looks at himself again through quarantine, through reflection, and he realizes how he needs to change, kind of thing, and like how depressed he truly is. And then what was the next one? The next one was um, Goodbye Friend, which was you when you moved to Virginia. Yep. Out of Arizona. And that was like another tipping point for him because he realizes he can't see his best friend literally every other day. He, every day now, he can't see his mm-hmm. friend anymore. He has to say goodbye. Yeah. And that's the hardest thing for any child is saying I mean, goodbye to your friend. It's, it's pretty obvious, so. but that's definitely my favorite one. Yeah, yeah. It at least hits hardest for me. <laughs> yeah, and then we had another one 
that was uh, the circuits of success kind of thing where it was him kind of admitting that he wants to change and he wants to be better, which sets up uh, our, the final. Oh, shit. I, I had a Dr. Pepper can over, <laughs> which sets up the final video of the um, the kind of series of the big boys year one where he uh, admits that he is better kind of thing. I'm not going to spoil what video that is mm-hmm. when that's coming, but that's going to be a big video yep. and it will be the, it will be the last video of the, of our little mm-hmm. series that will, yeah. that will be big. Well, not, I keep saying bigger boys. Fuck. I'm, I'm not used <laughs> to one inch wonders <laughs> that will uh, conclude the one inch wonders year one little playlist we have. Of yeah. all like our real life in per not in person not real life but like our personality based videos. But then yeah. of course I deleted the circus success video because I don't know because like I thought it gave the wrong idea when you look at the video because I, I I stated in the description mm-hmm. that it was a segment of a of like a tiny short story I had wrote and that was my favorite part of the short story because the short story was about um what you call it it was about a kid learning to become successful through the internet and then he mm-hmm. pretty much pushes everyone he loves away which is kind of the basic grasp of the vaza character story mm-hmm. and then that kind of thing where with that, that just kind of happened and then that was my favorite part of the book because i thought it was emotional it was raw but then when i posted on our channel i was like i like this video but one i had shown my face in it not not all my face i was wearing a covid mask but you could get the basic idea yeah. of my face, and I didn't like that because I'm not exactly comfortable showing my face. And um, two, yeah. it when you yeah. looked at the channel and you looked at the video, the channel and the video did not contrast together, so the story looked off kind of thing. It was like he talks about him becoming successful, and it's like, bitch, you only have 22 subscribers. What do you mean successful? That kind of thing. And then so in a kind of redemption arc for it, I, rec- I created the what the kids call a mood video, which is now privated, which was just a, a better version of the uh, Circus Success video where it doesn't talk about the success portion. It talks more about Vaz reflecting on his life with events that's happened to him, like real events. Yeah. That real events actually did happen to me. That's where I got the stories from, about like the dad breaking the glass beer bottles and like the friends at the trampoline thing where it's like then he says he's gonna be better because he looks at those um those worlds and sees like what sh- what i say shattered worlds or something like that i don't know i'm pretty sure he said something but, along those lines so and i think that does that, that video is kind of it does set up the final video of the year one playlist but i also got the aspect that I was a little pretentious <laughs> if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. It was a little pretentious. It was a little pretentious. The editing was over the top. I had a sad piano in the background. And I mean, like, I don't know. It was just a little pretentious for me. I yeah. I felt I kind of cringed at it because I know me. <laughs> and I got this. If I cringe at it, then, like, I feel like other people will cringe at it. Kind of mm-hmm. thing. Did you cringe at it, Striker? Like, genuinely? No, I didn't. No. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. I was cringing at it. I've watched it a probably a hundred times now because i i'm always so anxious of putting out these like story episodes mm-hmm. i keep saying episodes these story videos because i'm like hmm will this go well will this be good kind of thing but then i'm like also think there's also this thought in the back of my head oh if if someone from your from your personal life finds this how how fucked will you be mm-hmm. <laughs> and i look at the other ones where i'm like goodbye a friend you I'm know like six months in therapy fucked yeah, send this to the love of your life, send this to your crush of context. Those were all kind of like the send this to your crush video was had it was a poem that we found that I found online and gave credit to the guy in the description. So send this to your love of your life video was more of like that was pretty t- calm and you could make the argument that he's not depressed. He was just being kind of sad at the moment. Goodbye friend was just a genuine goodbye to striker. So mm-hmm. you also made that argument that he's not depressed. He's just sitting there like, oh, but the what, <laughs> what the kids call a mood video. <laughs> Oh boy, <laughs> oh boy, <laughs> that one was just um I don't know. I may unprivate it just for the story aspect, but I don't know. I don't know. I didn't. I didn't really think it was that bad, honestly. Yeah, I think my parents are upstairs because I just heard creaking outside my <laughs> door. So, <laughs> um, 
So you're going to continue with like your little timeline throughout the story? Yeah, actually, uh, present yet? Yeah, actually, I'll on private right now as as we're doing this right now. All right, all right. As you're you're doing that, I want to start of my own timeline. Let's go all the way back to right when we started the channel, right? So you know, I I have these like he on the the channel used to be called Diamond Cat, I believe. And oh, this is like your original channel. Th- I've I've always had the same channel. I've just changed. Yeah, it no, way. I'm not. I'm not talking. I'm not talking about the. You're not talking about the one-ish wonders. You're talking oh, about yeah, the, yeah, the original. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're yeah, I, I, t- I took yeah, yeah. I took some of my <laughs> quote unquote best videos <laughs> from there <laughs> and put them on the one-inch wonder channel. And boy, they are cringe, but they. I don't know. They're, they're I bad. I feel like you have to. They're an important reminder my, of how of much I've how grown. Changed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I feel like um, you gotta have to live past the cringe. Yeah. Type of thing. That's. Exactly. I mean, I gotta do that right now so, with the, so what in, the kids call a mood video. So instead live of the looking cringe, back at it and cringing, take the look back at it and say, "I have improved a lot. I am better at this now." than i was then. what if i think i de- what if i think what if i think i degressed <laughs> well you cry well, then you yell at yourself for being a piece of shit that's what you 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 yell at yourself <laughs> in the mirror and you cut yourself yes uh Don't make sure um sideways for uh, attention vertical for results it isn't sideways for results vertical for attention no, no. it's yeah no you're right you're right yeah. Yeah, yeah sideways for attention vertical for results yes all right, <laughs> so I got it out of track there, and then I started like you know slow. Kind of sad that I the only reason I know that's from Family Guy. <laughs> that's where I learned that, that from. from. Family Guy. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I forget. I, you told me that once, and I remembered it because I thought it was funny. I got it from Family Guy. Yeah, years ago. From family Guy. Yeah. All right. I forget what episode that was in. I think it was like. I think I forget what happened. I think it was like Meg said she was gonna cut herself, and Peter said that. Uh, I that was fun. I just kind of, <laughs> I just kind of internalized it and kept it in my mind. Here, I'm gonna look it up actually. So we'll yeah, continue going. All right, yeah. So next, so the kind of like the next progression is, I believe, I really didn't do that much besides I kind of I was kind of mainly on the sidelines. Yeah, it's, side, it's sideways for attention, I, and long ways for results. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Um, yeah. yeah, I was on the sidelines. For a lot of the time and i would like i'd kind of like assist with videos and stuff for for a long time until i eventually started you know trying to you know do new things and you know you know vaza talked to me and he said like hey this is a group channel we, we kind of you know we, we you know we kind of need you to like it, it was it oh, was yeah, like that but uh, it was music to my ears because i I fucking yeah. I, I felt oh, that, extremely yeah. guilty, and I wanted to like you know contribute a lot to the channel. Oh so, yeah, for, for the longest time, so I started I was up, the main one uh, uploading. Really, uh, you were the, just in the videos. Yeah, yeah, I was just like mainly in them and did like. I mean, what was the first video you uploaded on the channel? I'm going through. I'm trying to like look at like. Uh, no, the first one I was, the first one I remember. Bonk on uh, me, bonk on me was the first one. Oh, bonk, bonk on, on me? me. Yeah, oh, bonk yeah. on me. Okay, well, that was a decent. No, I think before bef- before that was the um was the uh, old videos, but I don't really count yeah, those. The cause... old videos don't count. <laughs> yeah, so it was bonk on me, and then after that, you did the fucking scribble dial. Yeah, curse wor- the the worst one CSGO is rappers. I-, I really liked the gaming, oh, yeah. like the gaming thing, and this is this is the start of when Vaza started to you know he didn't really like editing them. But I did. Oh yeah, I don't edit the gaming videos. Yeah, I don't edit so, those. So, you know, I started with this like Scribble.io recording that like um, Vaza, Vaza recorded. Like we, we were playing Scribble.io. We saw that hey, this would be a fun video. You know, a yeah, couple, Zev of, and, a couple of our friends dude, at the time. And what happened to Zev? Yeah, whatever happened to Zev? I mean, I he's know. mentioned in our Bapas. Last time we got into him, we just we just kind of like started this. Unnecessary. We argued in the comments of <laughs> we argued in the comments the of one of our of videos. I remember that. Cursed videos. Yeah, I don't know if the cons are still there. I think he deleted them all, but yeah, yeah, we kind of just stopped talking to him because he was an asshole. So yeah, he's funny for videos. I'm not gonna lie, he was he was funny. He was a funny man, yeah, yeah, but he never turned it off. That sh- he, like who he was was like he never played a character. That was yeah. literally who he was. So 
Yeah. He, it, it was funny for videos, but when you talked to them like a normal person, you were like, mm-hmm. ugh. <laughs> yeah. That sounds rude and all, but yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just who he was. Yeah. But, uh, you, got you know, then starting that video, you know, I, I made some mistakes, like with the intro. That was a huge mistake. And then, oh, and yeah, then I, well. then I like started to like <laughs> learn you, about If you notice, if you notice, I'm the one doing the intros for most of the gaming videos. <laughs> he Striker's done. What have you've done some intros now? You're, you're trying to do the intros now with the dumbass speech moments and the the new. Uh, no, I, it was it wasn't really until recently. You know, dumbass siege you made. Yeah, it was dumb. Yeah, you yeah, made, dumbass you made two intros. Made, yeah. You made two intros. I think dumbass I siege was the first one that I made my, completely by myself. Yeah, because yeah, and I yeah, had. And, uh, I, oh. Before then, like he would he would just make the intro bits because yeah, you know he was pretty good at that. Drive. But then, but then I yeah. found ways to do that myself, and then I just did it because it's a lot simpler than you doing it and then yeah. sending it to me through Google Drive. I really don't mind. <laughs> I, I could care. And less. then after that, yeah. But it is it if just you easier. do it's more per- if you do it's more personalized because before it would just kind of jump mm-hmm. to it. It would just play some songs, or like be able to a song and jump to it. At least with this, it's more just kind of a little. There's a clever transition, like in a dumbass siege video where you um. Uh, did yeah. the, what, do you, what you call it, the VHS thing of it, like yeah. showing every time you died, and then, then the newest one, where it's the creeper explosion, where it's like yeah. I would have to have, I probably have to have the clips just to time it up pretty perfectly to do it. So it is kind yeah. of better that you're doing it now. And you I know, still think you need to work on it a tiny bit because I think they are getting a little, they are probably a little too long type of thing. Yeah, but, we, we've been shortening yeah. the intros. Although, yeah, I, I, like I said I think like I think like like four seconds, seconds is the longest you can uh-huh. go. Eight, that is long as fuck. Eight Not seconds, really. no. Not really. I mean, you can you, you, can, you yeah, can read it in eight seconds. Yeah, you can. Like, yeah, you can uh, some of these titles are decently long, so you, you kind of I mean, you, 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 you want to give space book. for the really fast leader like uh, people who read, but also people who take a little bit longer to read as well. You gotta keep that mm-hmm. in mind. I, the way I always did is, I, whenever I do text, I always count on my fingers how long it takes me to read because I'm a pretty average mm. uh, reader, average speed reader. So I'd count on my fingers, yeah, and then I then I'd add like I'd add like about a second or two to it, and that's about it. And yeah, so like, so like when I did stuff, like, and you and you know, it's kind of hard to get a good like four seconds of a song that's like that fits true. perfectly into the, like the thing. Eight seconds is a yeah. lot more manageable. Because then you can yeah, find exactly. like a little portion of the song to make for the thing. Yeah, the intros. I don't think I've made a video. I think every almost every video you on channel right now you've made, you think you've made the last no. few ones because I made the no. look at the last. Let's look at the last. Mm-hmm. I the mean, last it's kind of weird because like typically sometimes we like trade off, and you can if you if you got a good eye, you can you can tell for our style our I mean, styles. I mean, yeah, I mean, out of the last five, out of the last ten videos, I've made, we've kind of, it's actually been split five five, because I made nice. The, That's the good. Stream, actually, no, two of which were we were made that we they were made together because the you know, yeah. songs. You did most of them together on those because yeah, I'm not. I did, I did the. I don't know music guy either. I made it. I make it in fucking audacity. <laughs> literally, all well, I'm not I do an audio I guy. Them, <laughs> literally, all I do when I make, I make them purposely bad, striker. I make them purposely bad. Okay, you don't know this by now. If you, dude, I purposely make Clancy too loud, or I make I make him off pitch to the song, just to make it sound <laughs> worse. Good, dude. That's the whole Clancy the Coomer character, man. Yeah. Was um, is that he he's a Coomer and he makes su- a Coomer simp and he makes hella bad music. That's why it's <laughs> funny. I mean, yeah, dude. Here's something. Right. Here's something that um I always wanted to do. But I never had mm-hmm. the opportunity to. I mean, I think we shut up spray thing in my room. I don't even know what the hell that is. My parents just put it in my room one day and said here, and I was like, okay. Yeah. So here's my whole like story behind the Clancy character. If like I, I this whole I had this whole idea when we first created him, like let's act like he's a different person that's just on the channel and like put him in the banner and like the the bio mm-hmm. chain, you know, people we can trick, and not realize that's yeah. just me doing the voice. Yeah, because Cla- yeah, if you didn't thing. know by now, Clancy is is one hundred percent of Azza. Yeah. He is yeah, just, just doing, me doing my voice. Yeah, it's me doing, it's just me doing my Tally impression. 
You want to do it right here? I'm going to do it right here. Yeah. Wait, boy. Wait, boy. That's, that's all it is. It's it's yeah. literally just me doing tally a tally voice, but like adding way more air to it. That's mm-hmm. all it is, making it way more breathy. Yeah. I mean, dude, it's it's such a pain in the ass to do the tally while singing because I genuinely want to pass out every time I do it. Because <laughs> how many times I have to? How many times I, I'm because I'm breathing out so much that <laughs> I just do the voice that like for after doing it, if I have to do multiple takes of a song, I usually have to sit down. Cause I'm like, all right, fuck, I'm, I'm done, I'm done, <laughs> I'm gonna die. This is how I die. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, but the songs we write together, I I usually find, but I usually have the at a basic idea of what we should do. Yeah. And then you, and we kind of, we kind of like form. think of or like, like in you know, lyric or like a set of lyrics, and then we're like, <laughs> hello. We we kind of like start like you know. We think of like a one-liner in a song and we just do like oh hey wouldn't it be yeah. funny if it's like like this and that and then we just yeah, yeah parroting the song entirely yeah it's more like we just kind of come up with like we change we originally just kind of change one lyric of the song and then we just go from there yeah you know like wet boy it's a parody we, before web yeah the wet boy for example which is i think oh, the best clancy song that one was, was oh. Okay, so here's the story behind Wet Boy. Um, if people didn't know, well, we never talked about it. So, um, Wet Boy was made. Was it four months in advance before we actually made this song? It's almost as we old the idea, as the channel. We, you know, we had the idea for Wet Boy um, before we created the Clancy character, like months before. Yeah. Because we had thought of the idea where it was like we we were recording a CS:GO video. I remember this. We were yeah, using yeah. a new map. And we start. We just started singing it. We we're like, "Wet boy, wet boy, mm-hmm. all you wanna do is beat it all night, oh, wet boy. boy." Like we yeah. just started singing it just randomly. Yeah, because I, I think actually, I think I think Zev actually started singing it, and then we just you and me went off the rails with it. Yeah. And then that night, then we stopped the recording almost immediately. It's amazing. And we, started, we just wrote the yeah, yeah we wrote the parody of it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then and we've made and then our we couldn't sing. None of us can sing. None of us can do. Yeah any of that so we're like how are we just so our original idea was oh here's what we're gonna do we'll, we'll I'll, I'll put it into google translate and i'll take the automated voice and i'll sync it to the song which i think is still funny but it wasn't that good not really I think it was funny but it was average at know. best in my opinion yes it kind of ruined the song the yeah. joy of the song so then i was like oh we'll just erase <laughs> the lyrics so the, like i think it's like a week later i sat down and i erased the lyrics for it then again, it wasn't that, that, wasn't that funny. Yeah, wasn't so that funny. we kind of just so then you we kind of gave up. We kind of abandoned it, right? And, yeah, then, and then and then after that, we saw like the Clancy character. Yeah, we were like, "Oh wait, shit, we can do this!" And we we, we searched on Discord to try to find it. I think actually, I think we talked about Wet Boy, not Wet Boy, in a our twelve hour stream that we did. Oh yeah, we did. We were like, "Oh yeah, That's we have not this private song." Yeah, we talked about Wet Boy in a twelve hour stream we did. Yeah, uh, the only reason we streamed for twelve hours, remember, was just because Disney had blocked our video in every country. Oh yeah, it's like fuck you, Disney, and so we'll stream for twelve hours, and then the very next day it was unblocked. Like, hot get fucked. Yep. That's great. I love that. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so that was like made before the Clancy character and all yeah. that. I mean, I like I like the Clancy. I really do like the Clancy character. Yeah, he's fun. Kind of thing. It's fun. It's fun to do. I think it's fun. I think it's hella funny. It'll probably be dated in the future. I'm yeah. not gonna lie, but but we can care. enjoy it while it lasts. I would. I think I told Striker this. I would love if um we somehow got like a producer or some dumb shit like that, <laughs> and we make we make the Clancy hit, we make the, we make the Clancy shit hella professional <laughs> just for the meme, just for the meme because I feel like that'd be fucking hilarious. It would be stupidly I mean, funny. Just imagine that a full out fucking production for a song about beating your dick. That's so oh my funny God. to me. Yeah. That's unnecessarily fucking comic. Just not yeah. comic. It's, it's unnecessarily fucking comedy. Funny. It's unnecessarily comedy. Yes, it is comedy. My my linguistic intelligence is is making my sentences more funny. 
<laughs> yes. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. I think I think yeah, I think Wet Boy is the best one out of all of them. Wet Yeah, I'd agree <laughs> too. Dude, the the coming in quarantine one was such a pain because I cannot rap in the Clancy voice at all. <laughs> I mean, yeah. if you if you listen to the song, I literally start just sit down and start taking breaths in it because mm-hmm. I cannot rap in that voice with how many like yeah. breaths I have to do just to do the voice properly. I can't, it just it it destroys me. Mm-hmm. Couldn't do it until one day when we were just I think we were just I think we, what were we doing? We were just kind of chilling and then and then you started I just did it singing while sitting down and it just made a whole world of a difference. It wasn't sitting down. I think I was just in the right mood. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's do it. I just did it. Yep. I was like, oh, oh yeah, that works. Let's go. Yep. So that was that. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, out of the out of the five new ones, I think out of the not five, the, the ten new ones, you've made five, and I've made five because you made so demo pretty- win, spy fails, and and then uh, dumbass siege moments. Little man says Paul Blart for an hour. The remix. <laughs> Small PP and then small PP boys found about penis in my like that one. And I've made Quest for the Ass Part Two. Coming I've made Poke Stream coming quarantine. What the kids call a mood in every white girl ever. Yeah. Oh dude, I kinda wanna talk about the Quest for the Ass thing. Right. That was one of the pre recorded videos <laughs> that we had when we first uploaded on this channel. That's oh, why yeah. it says a year later. Even though it's only been what, how long? A few yeah. months? Uh, eight months yeah. since it was uploaded on this channel. It was made directly... It was made a year like to the T, I think. Um, on the, the day it was uploaded, yeah. Yeah, I think it was made. Yeah, it was originally was uploaded on the same exact day. Mm-hmm. Like a year from apart, but I originally had it on my whole channel. My personal one. That's mm-hmm. not active. Yeah. That I re-uploaded on here, so... Yeah, the the quest for the ass thing is kind of gonna become like maybe become a tradition type of thing. Every friend, <laughs> my mom does like a whole friendsgiving thing, and I was like, that could be a fun thing we can do. Yeah, I mean, I mean, but they're, they're just kind of unprompt. We never know what to do, and we just kind of make up it on the spot. I mean, the first one, we had walked to a park, and just started filming. We just, like I think, because the very first clip in the original quest for the ass video was me asking Dylan, "May I have that ass? Give me that ass," and I chase him was Dylan's the very skinny one in the video. And then everything else before that was filmed after that. So mm-hmm. it's pretty much, it was all filmed out of order and I just put them together while editing. Yeah. I hate that. And, you know, and then the quest for the S part two one, it was like, I had a basic idea, but I also just kind of made up the entire story while editing it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We had found a, like for that, we had filmed multiple versions of the quest for the S part two. Uh, one of which had me with a knife. I chased them around with a knife after I find them. Um, another version, I had a bottle. We were, the that This version was actually filmed at the exact same park. The first one was filmed at. Was I, had a bo- I had a glass bottle, and I chucked it at him, and then it exploded over there, and then we had a... We had, some nice lady gave us a mop. Not a mop, a... Whatever it's called. A dust... Not, whatever the fuck. You know what I mean. Dustbin. Yeah, and we cleaned it all up. And we cleaned it all up, but that was that that one we fucked up entirely because of um. Uh, we had fucked up the lines really badly, because yeah. we were just going we were just going off prompt and then we were like, I think it was like, Gary that ass, why do you have a bottle? Ah! Then I threw it at him and then I then I turned to yell Dylan, "You're next, bitch." Mm-hmm. I think actually I did use a t- I did use one take from that version was the when I turned to Dylan and go, "You're next, bitch." That was from that video. It was after I broke the bottle. So I think that was the best version of that. Yeah. Of me yelling that. Because everywhere else when we filmed it was right outside my mom's house. And I was <laughs> like, I don't I don't want everyone at, at yeah. the stupid party to hear me yell, you're next, bitch. Yeah. And then violently stomping. Mm-hmm. I mean, <laughs> that, didn't sound, that didn't sound like a pleasurable experience. So I, I'm so glad that you ended up with the, with the cut with a sign. Because this is infinitely oh, more funny, sign. since it's not typically a conventional weapon to have a Oh, sign. yeah, no. No one... Yeah, I should probably explain that. So in the video, I have a sign, and I th- I, I throw a sign at him. And what it, that sign is, it's a reflector. It's like a reflecting sign thing, so cars can see in the dark, but they shine lights type of thing. Which I actually have in my room right now. It's right in front of me, actually. Like, I'm looking right at it. 
pretty much I might put it up on screen if I remember to. I'm probably not gonna. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> it's pretty much what it was was we were going to this uh the like the local convenience store like the gas station right right in front of my neighborhood and um we had sold it was just on the floor like it was broken on the floor and we're like oh that's not something i guess and we walked by it and then when we came back i jokingly said yo we should take it it means broken who's gonna take it so i'm like, we're like can you even pick it up and we just picked it up and it's super light so and then we, then we took it back to my house. We hosed it off just to make sure there's no, like, spiders and ants and shit in there. And then we spray painted it black. And at the moment, I have it wrapped in, um, which I, I wrapped it, I wrapped the pole part of it in red duct tape, like a candy cane. Mm -hmm. And I spray painted the actual sign part that had the reflectors on it with chalk spray paint. And I wrote, I wrote on chalk, uh, me, Dylan, and Andrew. And I drew, I drew our heads on it. And I put our names next to it. So. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's, that's right in my room. So that's right there. It's right next to my, right next to my bed. It's chilling on my bed frame. So, ah, I just cracked my fucking neck. <laughs> what do you, so yeah, that was something. Uh, hmm? What do you think would be you the your favorite part of like making a video? In your opinion, what's the most fun part about it? Depends on the video. Honestly, if it, like if I'm editing, if I'm making a gaming video, best part is filming it. Best part is filming it. It's so fun. Yeah, I mean, hell, it's, we just really fun. We, I can't lie. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we just filmed um, which we call it a uh, Lego Star Wars okay. saga video, but we had to scrap it because it was uh for some reason the video was just all black when I pulled up the game. Yeah, really and I think it's because action, because um, what happened was action just didn't record it. For some reason, it couldn't record the tab because the game is like so poorly coded for PC, so I couldn't record it. And it's just that, and I don't use all that. I don't use I don't use OBS or any anything like that because well, OBS just doesn't fucking work for me for some reason. Mm -hmm. I'm too lazy to figure it out. Actually, it's more simple when I paid for it like years ago, so I just have I just have it. So, and yeah. But if it's like so, and the worst part about editing, well, the worst part about game videos is the editing. I hate editing gaming videos so much. That's the reason I don't do it anymore. And I'd, you do all the yeah. editing for gaming I'd say videos. They're tedious, but it's 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 the worst yeah, part. Yeah, but I, I don't can't hate stand it. it. Oh, yeah, no, I can't stand it. Like I I will do it, and then like so it's just oh should I just drop my protractor? <laughs> I was fidgeting. Oh with. no, not my protractor. <laughs> not my protractor. No, not the protractor. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. No, edit editing is the worst part when it comes to gaming videos because it's just hours upon hours of footage that to chop down and look at and rewatch over and over again. And yeah, it gets and then it gets to the point where I've rewatched every clip so many times to the point where it's like, or is it even funny? It's even we're posting, and then like I just scrap the whole video so, after that. I'm that like, God, it's not it's insane because the rainbow video, I genuinely hated every bit of it by the end of the t by the yeah, end. Uh, that I made it because I yeah, watched that's the clip so many uh, fucking times that I yeah, constructed I each joke into little philosophical meaning and why they are not funny in my head. <laughs> you have whole ass video essays for every I could, joke in that I could, video. I could already. make an entire video essay on why each of the jokes in that video are not funny. You should do that. That'd be fucking funny. That might. <laughs> Well, 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 dude, I had this. I whole might have another issue with the the entire of that video. <laughs> no, you no, I mean, make it a series where you just you constantly de you constantly deconstruct the video before it. So you make it about the f dumbass siege moments, and you well, deconstruct that, that joke, video. and then you then you de and then you deconstruct the video essay deconstructing the dumbass siege video, and you just keep you just keep the cycle going, keep it going. Well, then then that ruin, that would ruin for the the video for everyone. Except for me, because I've already exactly. ruined it myself. You, you, just get the, exactly. you just get my perspective on it, on why I hate it. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I can't edit gaming videos because I'll rewatch it millions yeah. of times and I just hate it. And I just end up scrapping because I'm like, I get super remorseful. I'm like, if I can't stand it now, mm -hmm. no one's going to like it. And then I'll usually show people and they'll be like, oh, that's super funny. Or like, oh, that's, yeah. a, that's a good joke. And so, they'll laugh at sometimes it. Sometimes like, you have How? to take a leap, you know? Sometimes yeah, yeah, yeah. if you think something's I mean, funny, that's like, why maybe maybe you'll find it funny. So you just you just have to take that yeah. leap. 
Yeah, that's why whenever I edit the game, when I used to edit the gaming videos, I would always constantly screen share it to Striker mm -hmm. and constantly show him the clips, just so and it get his opinion on it. Just because I was always yeah. like, uh, "Is this funny? Is it not?" Yeah, thing. I I also so. like to get a second opinion on clips. Typically, I'll share a screen share of Vaza like once or twice. Rainbow video, I did yeah. it way too much. I'm 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 since since this uh, new relaxed editing style, I've I have been loving making these videos. Holy. Oh yeah, the relax. Yeah, because it's more easy when you're relaxing with it. You just kind of have fun it, with it. It literally takes the worst it, part out of it, and it just and it, it. And, it, and it and it just kind of, it does kind of shine through with the videos. I mean, I was watching the newest Minecraft one, and I was like, yeah, he had fun with this one. I can tell. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't know. I I I was. I mean, at some parts I was bored, but like I could still watch it. I could still bear it. It wasn't unbearably boring. It was yeah, unbearable. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to find a nice wasn't. happy medium between you know, not working myself to death and making yeah, an entertaining yeah. video. And what I yeah, think yeah. the next the next one in the, the second episode might be my happy medium that I'm achieving. Yeah, because you said that you said the second episode that we recorded in the recorded, Minecraft yeah. one was a lot better. Superior, it was way yeah. funnier. <laughs> that was a fun one to record. I don't want to talk yeah. much about it. It was fun. I mean, <laughs> I made you a fucking slave and I just sat there and stared at you. <laughs> yeah. I made I made you my bitch, and that was so fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So that was a fun one to record. I, know, I think that's gonna be fun. <laughs> on. Ah, just sorry. It's it's weird yeah. talking about this because it's like mm -hmm. there's probably some dude watching. He's be like, dude, what the fuck are these kids talking about? Yeah, <laughs> they're all they're wrong. The opinion's wrong. <laughs> Everything is oh, no, wrong. Just, I don't know. I don't make the. I don't really make these videos for like yeah. others people's approval, kind of thing. I don't make them for like. I, I can't just make them because me and Striker find them funny. It's like, oh, if we find it funny, maybe maybe someone else does. Yeah, that's the only that's the only reason I even post them. If I literally if okay, here's the thing: if like YouTube wasn't a thing, I'd probably be still be making these videos. They'd be way different because my comedy is a lot of inf is yeah. influenced greatly by fucking mm -hmm. YouTube. YouTubers and shit, mm -hmm. and YouTube and social media and shit. But like, mm -hmm. I'd still be making this kind of stuff. I just wouldn't post it. I mean, yeah, it'd be something if where I you kind of like share with your friends, you know. Yeah, yeah. I'd, probably, them, I'd, I'd posting them online. We'd be sharing them with our friends. Yeah, I'd post them. I'd probably just put them in like Discord servers and shit like that, or mm -hmm. that kind of thing yeah. with you guys and show you guys because yeah, Discord. No, this stuff, this stuff is always... a limit. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> mm -hmm. True. Yeah. Fucking get rid of it, please. I don't, know. I don't want to pay money yeah. to to send my files. Please, <laughs> Discord. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It's because these type of videos, shit, the memes, all that kind of stuff, is always kind of what makes me happy. Strangely enough, it's like it's one of those things where it's like you make them and you're like, yeah, this is this was fun to make, even if it was grueling at times, even if I'm, if I'm unproud of it in the future. It's always it's always fun to make them because you're just like it's something it gets your mind going, you know. To create it's a creativity thing, even if how fucking weird it is. Yeah, I mean. The fucking gig, the fucking my fucking Quagmire g giggity trailer, where I made Quagmire like a whore villain. Oh my god! Type of thing. Yeah, that originally that was, was just a one-off joke, and then we made it. Yeah, that was a one-off joke. That was a one-off joke, and then I made it. Then I made a Quagmire cult. Then we made the Quagmire cult video, mm -hmm. which I think is one. I think is one of our best, just because I think it truly showed. Yeah. I don't know. It's not the best edited. It's no. not the best. I think it does have the best title card, though. I think it does have the best title card. Yeah. Out of every video, I, I kind of forgot the title card for that one. It was the vaporwave one. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. With the yeah, it does probably yeah. it does have the best title card. But I I do think that one was genuinely just more of it was just you and me kind of thing. It was more it was more just like oh it was just kind of fun to that one was just fun to record. Yeah. That was just, the I think the idea was fun. So whenever we thought of, I mean whenever we thought of it. Whenever I thought of it, I always got like, excited. I'm like, it's it's a dumb video, but I, I think it's a funny idea. You know, yeah. it always made me happy. Kind of think about doing it. It did take a whole ass week to fucking do because mm -hmm. I had to post the videos on TikTok yeah. and that type of thing. Speaking of TikTok, we do have a TikTok account now. I don't know if you mentioned yeah. that. Yeah. The one you can go on one one see just minute, which, if you want to see more frequent but like miniature little shit posts thingies. What? That's probably also there will be probably clips of the of this channel videos on there too. Yeah, but, I mean I'm, I'm st I, I'll still I'll still post shit on there. It's just like I, I don't I don't really use TikTok idea. that much. So 
you might get none to rarely ever post from me. So it'll mainly be just Fazla running it. Yeah, yeah. The only reason I even made it, I was like, you know what, TikTok's fun, might as well also may be good. I know something's dumb, but it may be good publicity. Just post one there. Yeah. I know it kind of contrasts with what I said earlier <laughs> about we just do it for yeah, fun. I, I, but I, I love, it also I love, adds to that. I love it also adds people to that. enjoy what we make. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care. I don't know. I don't care about. It, I don't care if I, I checked the. You know the whole. You know the whole thing it's about no YouTube, one, but it, you know whole, it's positive to get that. You know. Yeah, yeah. You know the whole thing where YouTubers like only eight, only a small amount of you are subscribed to the channel. Dad, no. what's up? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Pause. What's the up? only time I will ever use that sentence is if I'm taking the piss out hold of someone doing that. Sorry about that. My dad walked in my room and started talking to me. So, probably should have put up like a sign that said "Don't come yeah. in." recording or something like that but whatever yeah we're talking about tiktok uh the whole youtuber thing where they're like oh. only a small amount of percentage of you is uh, are subscribed so if you don't if you haven't subscribed yet please do please hit the subscribe button mm-hmm. you yeah, know i checked our thing as long as i think i took yeah. a, i even took a screenshot of it yeah uh where it was like i checked our thing and it was like mm-hmm. 80 i think it was like mm-hmm. like 90 percent of people aren't subscribed yeah who watch the videos and i was like yeah that makes sense i don't really care though Oh, yeah, no. yeah. It was actually no. It was eight. Wait, eighty three point eight people are not subscribed, and sixteen point two hmm. are subscribed. Even then, no, I, was, it's not I saw that, and I was like, hmm. and I was like, I don't care. Hey man, I, I don't care. I appreciate that yeah, people take the time out of their day to even watch our garbage. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Just fucking, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. If you get a laugh, I don't. I don't care. I only, I only just do this shit because I find it funny. Be honest, I couldn't give a shit. I couldn't give a shit if anyone even watched them, just as long as I'm, be- as long as they're funny, <laughs> as long as I get a laugh out, of- as long as I get a laugh, mm. kind of thing. I've d- I've literally deleted videos off the channel just because I'll rewatch them and be like, oh, I didn't laugh at that one. Get out of here. <laughs> get out of here. Get it the fuck out of here. Kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, I think I know it's kind of maybe a flawed mentality to have. You're like, oh, you're a YouTuber. Yeah. You should care but you should do that type of thing but it's like uh, i just don't care i i genuinely don't give a shit i kind i just post it because i find it funny and then i'll post it on tiktok and shit like that just be the only reason i post on tiktok now is because i'm like you know what if more people want to yeah. they can watch it type of thing I, make more people laugh i don't care i kind of agree with that but i i i do yeah, I, I do kind of care because i like seeing people enjoy our content and it just it's it doesn't make the whole thing for me, but it definitely helps. Yeah, <laughs> it's funny because when I first when I first started doing YouTube back in like twenty thirteen, I I made I started with my friend my friend Tyler, and we'd dude I made a Minecraft parody back then that I do not want to talk about <laughs> at all. Uh, Literally, it was no. It was here's here's what it was. It was my my it, my dad. Uh, I lived. My, my dad was just not home, and so I was home alone. And it was like I forget what song we parodied, but it was like some about something about a pig. Oh, it was you gonna catch me riding dirty. Oh my god, it was to that song, and we did it. You gonna? You know, it was like something about like pigs, like riding pigs dirty or some some dumb shit like that. And I remember I would advertise the shit out of that channel in uh, during school. I still have the channel though. I still have channel. That's like the main channel I watch YouTube videos on. Huh. I'm subscribed to so many uh, channels on that on that channel that's like I don't even want to like switch to a new a new uh, channel type mm-hmm. of thing. So it's like I have I have a the channel I watch YouTube videos on, and then I have our channels. Yeah. So it's just kind of like that. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. So, I was just like, I ever did the shit out of that during school. Yeah. I know, like, a good, like, a bunch of kids from my class are actually subscribed to it. I'm not going to say their names for, yeah, because, personal reasons. you know. <laughs> yeah. But, like, that was always, I always found that was fucking hilarious. Yeah. I look back on that. It's like, dude, and I remember this one girl who I still talk to kind of frequently now. Uh,. She would constantly call me Mr. YouTube. I'd get so pissy about it. <laughs> I mean, like, shit, it's like uh, seven years later, and <laughs> you're still doing it. Still doing it, yeah. Yeah, sure. yeah she was the, um, I don't want to give away too much. She was, she was the girl I constantly called a sinner. Did I tell you that story? 
Yeah, you told me that story. Yeah, I, I guess I should probably tell it to right now just for context reasons. Uh, so she's like a huge Christian, huge Christian, constantly posts shit on Instagram about like her religion and all that kind of stuff. And um, uh, during literally, okay, two hours before we filmed the quest for the ass part two, <laughs> two hours before that, we had faced, I, I was just FaceTiming a bunch of people. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. And she was one of them. And actually, you know, I don't think it was before. I think it was after because we were all in my room by then. We were just kind of chilling out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So somewhere, it was like, it was two hours after or before. One of those mm-hmm. two. After. So, uh, so, and she started, she's huge as a Christian, like super religious. And she was going off and off about her sex life and shit like that. <laughs> and then, <laughs> and so we and she was like, "Oh my god, I'm such a she was I'm such a I'm such a dirty person." Like, and then we started, and we went along with it at first, but then when she didn't, then we realized that she wasn't actually joking. Or we, cause we thought she was joking around, mm-hmm. and she wasn't. And then we said, "Real like," and we started, and then I pointed out, "Wait, aren't you like hugely Christian?" She's like, "Yeah, what about it?" And, we just, <laughs> and then it amounted to like ten minutes of us just screaming "sinner" at her. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh my God. and that isn't exactly a nice thing to come in when uh, the door is wide open and there's about maybe 20 <laughs> strangers yeah. in your it's house like three kids screaming. all wondering what, folk. all wondering why three teenagers are screaming sinner at some random girl while she's just in bed on the phone <laughs> so yeah, that's always that's always a fun thing yeah. <laughs> I was thinking I should probably delete my old TikTok account because, like, um, what should we call it? My old one was, uh, I can't say the name of it because I did show my face. I showed my face on it kind of thing. Oh, yeah. and, uh, there's one video that you can clearly see Dylan and Andrew in. So it's like if you put two and two together. I mean, they're wearing the same outfits. It was it was the exact same day of the Quest for the S Part 2 video. Well, it wasn't in the Quest so. for the S. They, didn't, they weren't even censored even then. Their faces weren't censored. Yeah, they're not censored. Yeah, they're not. Their face on Twitter because they don't care. Yeah, Andrew has a YouTube channel. He shows us his face on all the time. Oh. On. So it's like Dylan. Dylan just doesn't care. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I've asked him. He always told me not to censor it. So I was like, oh, right, cool. Nah. I mean, if he told me now, if he told me now, I'd probably be like, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but I mean, if if he genuinely did want me to censor it now, I think there is like a YouTube thing where you can now censor it. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's like a tool or whatever, but like, yeah, you, oh, even yeah, if you yeah. couldn't, you'd probably just whip it and just throw it into fucking Premiere, just create a yeah, sure upload it. layer and then just mask it out over his face. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. I, I kind of just stop caring if people were like that. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, you want me to show your face? I go. I mean, one of our friends, Vincent, did that with an old ass video back when we had separate channels. Oof. There was like this one video, I think it was called A Chat with a Drug Dealer, or whatnot, oh, yeah. where he acted like a drug yeah, dealer. Yeah, it, it was like a thing. And you could see his face yeah. in it, and he, he got pissed off with it. I was like, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll blur it. And so I deleted it. It was like up for like literally less than 24 hours before I well, before I uh, deleted it and blurred his face and shit. I hate how quiet my house is right now, because I know they could hear me. I, mm-hmm. I guarantee they can hear me right now, because they're both upstairs, and it's early for them to be upstairs. I don't know why they're up so early. Whatever. It's eight fifteen. It's eight fifteen. Who goes to sleep? Who goes to who's in bed? Who is it who is in bed before twelve 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 AM? Like if you no. do, I don't I don't I don't respect you. Like that's exactly. that's weird to me. Yes. If you're asleep anytime before twelve AM, that's just weird to me. I don't know what to tell you. It's Sorry. weird. Nobody does that. Yeah. I think you're the one with the mental illness, not me. Exactly. We're definitely sane. <laughs> We're the same ones here, not I swear. <laughs> I swear. Please. See, I've been functioning off of three hours of sleep from the past entire week. Please. I'm sorry. pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I'm probably only at three hours of sleep. So realistically. Anything more to talk about? Mm-hmm. Not really. We've been going for about an hour and sixteen minutes. All right. So I don't think there is anything right. else. Do you wanna close off the podcast? Good talk. We oh. could... <laughs> We could talk about online schooling, or we could keep going. Talk about online schooling, or should we just? And we might want to say that for a future one. 
you know. All right, cool. All right, well, I don't know how to end this shit, so, uh... See you, nerds. I'm a... <laughs> I'm going to just violently smack my lips as this goes on. If you made it to the end, you are one unfortunate bastard. See you, everyone.